Azad, I'm Tim from Troopy in Africa, and this is a little expose on the new Hercules conversion by Alucab. I just recently was lucky enough to acquire one, and I thought I would just take you guys all through what's changed from the previous Hercules that we had to the new one. I think all of you would agree it's been a long time coming. The change is uh, very welcome. I've got to confess that since getting it, I've only had it a week. I've only managed to sleep in it once, but damn, it is a super sexy new conversion. So without any further ado, let's get into it. First up, you can see that the roof is kinked down at the front over the front door follows the door line over there which uh, adds to the streamlined effect of the car and reduces the height on the front window the roof is no longer that tread plate from previous it's a very smooth painted finish which almost looks like as if it's part of the original troopy roof it's uh, really really nice and super sexy second We've got here the cargo rails are inserted flush with the roof which is quite cool and again helps with that aerodynamics of the roof. A little bit of a fun change that I asked for was the straps on the front to rather be painted white and I think it actually looks really cool. Got the idea from uh, some of Paul Marsh's cars that he's been doing uh, where he's been having the straps painted I think I might just get these rivets uh, painted white as well. At the rear the catches have changed to these slightly more heavy duty ones which I suspect is the point of it to be stronger. Then here on the rear in the center we've got the integrated tail light. Now that's a massive improvement in my opinion. I uh, reinstalled the standard factory one from my troopy and every time I wanted to get on over the ladder I would knock it with a result the previous one was quite loose and damaged added on the back here is your solar panel connection which is now conveniently permanently wired up for you on top of the roof so hanging off the edge here to give you an idea of the size of the roof We've got the alicab tray on the roof and we've got two 120 watt solar panels and then they still have further space on the kicked section in the front and the rails the cargo rails go right to the front so now you can use the entire roof right to the back they've even got it running across the back here shield at the back window it used to be fixed now it's nice and rollable like the other tents which makes uh, for looking out this back window so much better 
Um, we don't hardly ever camp where there's too much rain uh, here in Africa, so it's either a short little bit burst or nothing at all. So actually having that back window open permanently uh, to be able to stargaze uh, it will get the view is pretty awesome. So at the front of the tent you've now got a little Alucab logo. I understand from uh, other guys that on other tents this is the inlet for a heater pipe. Uh, I'm sure that's going to come at some stage but uh, my early model doesn't have it. Um, that would be pretty cool. Pop the heating pipe in there for the guys overseas in the cold. Right, going inside, underneath, we have this new car roof lining, which looks really awesome. My daughter actually just commented on that the other day. She said, Dad, that looks so much better than the carpet from before. So as before, we've got two lights, one behind the handle on the fold-up bed, and then now we've got it right at the back here, and it is touch and you can get red in different sh brightnesses or if you hold down you can get white light so that's pretty handy for camping I honestly prefer the red you'll see that the recess in the side is now completely closed in which is pretty cool I quite like the idea of this having awesome little LED spotlights in, which would be pretty cool. But that's for me to do. Right, so let's go back up into the tent. See what's new up here. Right, the awesome thing about this is firstly, we have bags finally. Yes, we can store stuff here, put your pajamas, your book you're reading at night, uh, whatever you want to put in. Really awesome that we've now got that. So just a fun fact on the mattress in the Alu Cab. We managed to fit a single sheet over the existing mattress, which means we can take it off quite easily and wash it, which is quite lucky. The mattress, the night we slept in it, was awesome. I know there's lots of talk about mattresses in various tents and that sort of thing. Our previous one was pretty hard in the Hercules. But this one, both my wife and I said, much better feel, much better feel. So I don't know if they've improved that or not. Um, then we lift the bed. And we've got the light that we showed you earlier. Now that we need to take and show you in the console. Because that is not only switched over here. It's also switched in the driver's overhead console. Right, now the back of the troopie is pretty much the same as it was before. Except a big change is you no longer have the stalk lights that blinded you in the night when you switched them on and didn't really give you the best light. They've now installed a light right up in the crest of the roof there, which very coolly is switched next to your bed and there's the light but not only that there's more your partner can switch it off and then we have these nice little USB charging points but not only there also over here funny thing is that blue light if you like it or don't like it gives a nice bit of light at night so you can charge your phones to your heart's content both you and your partner and spend all the time on social media liking Troopy in Africa posts. So there are these two straps so there's like one there one there which I assume are for your slip slops or your shoes at night so I assume you put your shoes tucked in over there and then uh, you can go to sleep but to be honest, uh, if you're in a troopy, why wouldn't you just leave your shoes down there? So a big change in the front is the overhead console, which has changed quite radically. I must confess, I did wonder why it needed to change, but having seen it now, 
It is super sexy. It's got more of a lip now. So your stuff doesn't bounce out like it used to and fall on your head. So there's actually more depth there to catch it. You got this awesome molly plate now, which you can see I've already attached my radio to. And the big change is the center console unit, which is kind of, I want to say, Grenadier Ineos inspired, where you can plug and play. So the plan was to put the factory fitted light in the center over here, and it's basically got four punch out plates for whatever switching you need on each side. But in my case, I chose to fit the radio in this position which actually works really nicely because it's now recessed uh, below the, the door there. Um, what else can I show you? Yeah, USB charging points. You actually get two of those. I took one out over here because, uh, as I said, I wanted to put the radio in there. And then, like I said, you can switch your backlights from the front here. So I'm just going to turn them off because we had them on earlier. And then everything just wires back up into that. But... I can see, you know, fitting some awesome things in there. The other nice thing about it is you've got these USB charging points. Now you're going to have cables that run. No, you don't. You're going to have them run through these two little holes here. So they run through that little thing and connect straight into there. And then whatever you're charging is sitting up in that uh, tray over there. So, yeah, that is pretty much it for the changes. So while I was busy filming that, I just discovered something I didn't even know. And I don't think it's even been put on their social media. Um, the bed base has actually got cargo rails on it. So you could mount stuff on the bottom there. There's even an opening for your nuts. So basically the base of the bed, you can now bolt stuff onto the underside, which is pretty awesome. Keep finding new things to mention. So you'll notice that the molly plate sits flush underneath the driver's and passenger's seats and that the bed actually kinks slightly forward. So that goes up at a sharper angle resulting in I think more room because effectively that point over there is no longer over there. It's actually further back so you're getting more headroom in the tent which is pretty cool too. So that's a big change too.